intro solo starts with a slide on string three up to fret nine. We're going to do that with our middle finger. That's going to put us in position for our first finger to play fret eight on string two and our third finger to play fret ten on string two. <laughs> That's the opening, the opening lick. Then we're going to play 9, 8. We're going to play 10 and bend it a full step. Then we reach for fret 7 on string 1. We're going to climb up to 8, 10, back down to 8, back to 7. Shifting to string 2, fret 10, we're bringing our first finger over for fret 8, string 3, fret 9, and then fret 10, we're going to do a half step bend and release, followed by 9. 9 is followed by a series of slides back and forth to fret 7. And some vibrato. Here's the whole piece. After the first chorus, there's another short solo. It starts with a rake across strings three and four, and we land string two, fret seven. We're gonna go seven, eight, ten, eight, seven. Then we're gonna roll our fingertip onto string two, fret seven, and then our third finger is gonna play uh, fret nine, string four. Okay, so we get 7, 8, 10, 8, 7, roll onto string 3 with our first finger, and then string 3 on the ninth fret. So we get... And we've got two more notes for this part. Back to string 2, fret 7, and then 9 on string 3. Again. slowly. Now it's important as you're doing this to not let strings ring out against each other. You'll get a, you'll turn it into a chord, okay? So we want to be doing some pretty strategic string blocking all the way through, especially if you're running a high gain setting like I am to get the sound of the recording. See right there, that, that kind of, they kind of rang together. Now we're gonna do that same series of slides back and forth, nine, seven. Right? And this one he adds one extra little piece on that wasn't at the end of the other. We're going to come back on string three to fret five. We're going to do a pull off to four, followed by five on the fourth string. Then another four, like this. Pull off, five, four, five. And then the last note is the C on string five. So we have.
The main guitar solo on Just Between You and Me starts with a slide up to fret 16 on string 3. We're just going to pick back here and slide into the note. It's called a slide from nowhere. We're already in motion as we pick. So we don't really hear a starting point. We just hear the slide into the note. We slide into 16, then we play 15 twice on string 2. The first 15th fret note will be staccato, so we're going to mute the string as soon as we play it, like that. We're going to touch the pick to the string, and then we'll play it, and then slide off. So we're going to go, we slide. Then we're going to come back again with another slide up to 16, followed by two 15s again. Then we're going to play one more 16, 15, staccatoed, and then a 17 that we're going to hold and vibrato, and then slide off of it. The whole phrase now. The next section starts with a bend on string one. We're at fret 15, we're going to bend it a full step, and then we're going to come back and play a 15 not bent. So we're going to go like that. And we've got to get our third finger on to string two to do the same thing. Okay? Now, those two bends will be followed by a triplet here, hammer and pull from fret 12 to 15 and back. Then 14, for string 3, and then 12 on string 3. So that's... With some vibrato and then a slide to nowhere. So the whole phrase there... Oops, try it again. The next phrase starts on string 2, fret 12. We're going to walk up, starting with this B note. We're going to go 12, 13, 15, 13, 12. 14, 12, 14, onto the fourth string. Let's do that again. These are um, eighth note triplets. One more time. And now we're going to, this is the weird part, we're going to bend fret 14, I'm going to switch over to my middle finger for this one. Uh, this is a thing that I've been doing for a lot of years. I use my middle finger and I use my third finger here. I'm going to bend 14 and I'm going to play 15. I'm going to bend 14 again and then I'm going to come over and fret with my right finger. Um, fret, what is that, 19. Right here on the third string. So I'm going to bend it and then fret it. And then I'm going to ride that note back down. So I'm going to go. Okay, so coming from that little B, C, D walk, Now the last section starts with a little slide up into 17 on string 2, followed by 15 on string 1, and then 19 with our pinky. So we're going to go, then we're going to play 17 again. Okay, so slide up into 17 on string 2, 15, 19, 17 again. 
Now we're going to do another series of triplets. This is going to be a pull-off from 19 on string 1 to 15, followed by that 17 on string 2, 2 again. So we're going to go... four times, uh, fret 20 on string 1, then we're going to walk back for the last phrase. 19, 17, 15. And those are staccato, that last one. Or the 17 and the 15. And then we're going to do a double stop. We're going to slide 15 to 17 and then back to 15. So that's... This song starts with eighth note triplets throughout the intro and the verses. To play eighth note triplets, we do alternate picking as we play three notes per beat. And we count that one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Notice beats one and three started with a down pick and beats two and four started with an up pick. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Let's play the riff. The riff starts on A on the 6th string, 5th fret. We're going to play A, G, A, and then we're going to move down to the 5th string, 3rd fret, for a C note. Then we come back A, G, A, and then we finish down here on string 5, fret 5, for a D. So we count that this way. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a... And the intro plays that part twice. And that's the intro. The verses continue the eighth note triplets we're going to play them on string five, open. I've got my first finger here as though I'm playing a power chord, but what I'm really doing is muting these strings. I'm blocking everything so it doesn't make any noise while I continue picking the eighth note triplets on string five. I'm also palm muting them. We're going to play three and a half measures of eighth note triplets. On the third beat of measure four, we're going to play down, up, down, on this G power chord, played with our middle finger on string six and strings fingers three and four on strings two and one. So we count this one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a that's three measures. The fourth measure, one and a two and a, and we're gonna come in with then we're going to return to our eighth note triplets. So let's put that together. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a. Now, the second half of the verse, same thing with the eighth note triplets. We're going to do exactly three measures of that. And then we're going to play quarter note power chords as we walk up 
A5, B5, C5, C sharp 5. And those are beats 1, 2, 3, 4, and then our chorus starts. So let's play that part of the verse. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. And then the chorus. So I'll play the whole verse up to that point. Now our chorus starts on the D5 power chord, fret 5, string 5. We're going to move back and forth D, C, D. Then we're going to move down to this F power chord. It's based on string 4. As we move down to these kind of power chords, our pinky has to move out a fret. Notice I'm taking up an extra fret with this power chord. We're going to play. up here to C and we're going to do C, D, that's a G5 power chord, back to C, F, C, D, and that's going to get a little slide. One more time. And it does it again. So we get basically two of those. The second one just starts on C though. Then for the bad boys part, we play an E5 power chord and then D5. So we're going to go, is there on the words bad boys? So it goes. And it does it again. And then the last time it's going to play E, C. Then it repeats another verse and chorus. So the whole chorus. And it does another verse and chorus. Up in the street, defend yourself and